Hello everyone. My name's Marcus Wilson. I'm from the University of Waikato. And I'll be taking you through the 2013 scholarship physics exam. I'm recording this in January in 2014 here in Hamilton. And it's been a few weeks since the 2013 students set the exam. But I resisted the temptation to have a look at the exam paper. So I don't know what's in here. And that's the point. There are a lot of um, movies and worked answers available for um, this exam paper. But often they, they don't give you an impression of how the person has got their answers. The thought processes behind the answers aren't there. So by, giving, by looking at this paper for the first time and then going through it with you, what I hope to do is capture some of my thinking behind it and so you know what sort of things you need to be thinking about when you tackle question. I'm sure my answers won't be the slickest answers you'll get, or the shortest. They might not even be correct, hopefully they will be. But it should give you an idea of how I go about tackling a physics problem, and I hope that's going to be helpful to you. So in a moment I'm going to open the envelope and we'll see what's in there. Just a word before I do, um, what I do, what I suggest you do with an exam paper, when you open it, just take a few moments to look at it rather than launching straight into question one. Check obviously it's the right exam paper, check the instructions on the front. You want to make sure that you're actually doing the, the paper correctly. So. I'm expecting six questions and have to answer all of them, but I'm going to check that first in case for some reason the instructions have changed. I'm going to check that it's a physics paper, just in case my colleagues have played a trick on me and put the chemistry one in here instead, or something like that. Um, and then what I'll do is read the questions um, briefly, and what I'll do is work out which order I want to want to answer the questions in. And I'm going to choose my best questions first and what I think are going to be my best questions first, the ones I'm most comfortable with. There's a reason for that, or two reasons for that. First of all, by tackling my best ones first, it gives me confidence that, hey, this paper isn't so horrendous after all. Secondly, you don't want to be in a situation where you get to towards the end of the exam, there's 10 minutes left, you've got a whole question still to do, and you realise that you could do really well on this question if you had more time. And the problem has been that you spent so much time earlier on struggling on harder questions that you didn't get out, and you miss out some really easy credit at the end. So get the, the stuff you think you can do quickly, and well done first, that means you know how much time you've got left to spend on the harder things. Of course you don't need to answer the questions in order at all. What I'd suggest um, is that you go and get yourself, while you watch these videos, a copy of the exam paper. You can download it from the NZQA website um, and that way you'll know what I'm talking about. So I'll open the envelope just in a moment.